Waiters, what dating disasters have you witnessed? A couple of friends and I went to the Mexican restaurant where another friend was waiting tables. There was a couple kind of catty cornered from us that had a bit of an off vibe. We could see them, but not really hear them, so we asked our server friend what was up. She said it seemed to be a first or second date that was a bit awkward. The girl had ordered one of those enormous margaritas, and was not sharing it. I had to go make a phone call, back in the payphone days, and when I came back, I ended up sitting with my back to the couple. Maybe 10 minutes later, I hear our friend the server say, no. And the sound of a full punch bowl being emptied from a great height. Giant margarita girl had stood up, swayed a bit, and vomited all over their meals, table, and the surrounding floor. The restaurant comped everyone sitting nearby, and the girl's date abandoned her in the ensuing chaos. I worked at a bar in a hotel for five years. I had a table come down from their hotel room and sit at one of my pub tables for dinner. From the moment they sat down, you could tell the wife was furious about something. She was unbelievably pleasant toward me, but did not say a single word to the man at the table. I get their drinks and then their orders he ordered steak and she ordered the sauciest pasta dish we had on the menu. About 20 minutes later, the wife still hadn't said a word to the man since they sat down, their food was done and my food runner set it on the table. Right as I was about to walk over to see if they needed anything else, I saw the woman stand up, say go duck yourself, John as she picked up the plate of pasta and dumped it all over his head and down into his lap. Then she very calmly walked out of the bar and back up to her hotel room. I spent a few minutes helping the man clean up and got my manager to come handle the situation from there as it was way above my pay grade at that point. Later in the night, the woman came back to the bar without the man and we talked for a while. Turns out he admitted to cheating on her right before their dinner reservation. I never saw either of them again. I used to work at a bar where 70% of the customers were on Tinder dates. There was a line of two-person booths along the wall when you first walk in. There were two dudes sitting by themselves in two different booths. Both of them were facing the door, one was in the first booth one was in the last booth. This girl comes in and walks up to the first booth, says hi to the guy, and sits down. They are chatting for about 5 minutes when the other guy who is sitting by himself comes up to her and says hey I'm so and so. Aren't you so and so? They all talk for like 30 seconds and she gets up and goes and sits with the other guy at the last booth. Eventually a different girl shows up for a date with the guy at the first booth. I don't know exactly what happened, but I almost died watching it unfold. She was definitely embarrassed. I work at a small bakery in my town. I am general kitchen staff and not a waiter, but I was there when this all went down. It was around 2 in the afternoon, the day had been normal, but suddenly I saw the retail staff in a huddle and took my first opportunity to go see what was happening. Apparently a couple had come in on this summer day, ordered two bowls of soup and sat down. The girl that had took their order went to the back and prepared their soup for them, then brought it back out. In the time it took for her to get the soup, the woman had taken off her flip-flop, put her leg across the table and the guy was going to town sucking on this lady's toes in the middle of the restaurant. The waitress didn't notice until she went to place the soup on the table. She stood there in shock, and the couple was oblivious to her presence. This guy is going all in, and the lady is starting to moan by the time they realize their soup is ready. The waitress was in complete shock for the rest of her shift, and that couple is no longer allowed on the premises. This place has even more weird stories. From someone forcing open the back door to ask for a hamburger to a complete stranger coming out of the basement and acting like he's supposed to be there. Not to mention the time I watched a bird fly out of a hole in the ceiling. Kentucky can be a weird place. I was a waiter at a very famous, upscale restaurant and a gentleman approached the maitre requesting someone take pictures of him proposing to his girlfriend. Since I was the closest to the maitre I was tasked with performing this duty. After stalking the table for a solid hour the moment was inevitably approaching. I set up at an angle she couldn't see me and when he busted out the ring I started taking as many pictures as I could. Anyone who has tried to capture a once in a lifetime moment on camera knows that you're not really watching what's going on, you're just trying to frame the moment. After about 20 to 30 pictures I slowly realized that she was declining the proposal and the scene was quickly degenerating into a five alarm dumpster fire. However I was far enough away that I couldn't hear what was being said and couldn't be sure of what was transpiring so I continued taking pictures just in case. Finally I stepped back and watched the scene unfold in reality as she stormed out of the restaurant in embarrassment and he scrambled to pay the bill and chase after her. 
he'd requested that I use my phone and send the best pictures to him. Needless to say he never approached us for the pictures and I have about 100 plus pictures of a wedding proposal gone wrong somewhere deep in my iCloud photo bank. Guy 1 and GF are fondling each other at my bar. Guy 2 joins them at the bar and they quickly separate and behave. The three go off into the casino but stop back for drinks a few times. Early AM Guy 2 does a shot and walks away, I can tell he isn't happy. He comes back and says he has a couple of hours to kill before his plane leaves. We get to chatting and he tells me he just broke up with his GF as suspects she snuck up to the room and nailed his best friend when he couldn't find either of them for an hour. I ask if it was Guy 1 and GF, he confirms it and I let him know he is making the right choice as they were making out at the bar before he came down. He thanks me for confirming, leaves a huge tip, and lets me know what is happening in case there is any confusion with the hotel. An hour or so later Guy 1 and GF are at the bar whispering and arguing. I casually ask if everything is okay, they say they are locked out of their room and can't find their friend who paid for the room. They tried to charge the bill to the room too but my computer showed the room was empty. I told them Guy 2 had been in earlier but checked out and his flight was already in the air. Then I watched the meltdown. Guy 1 had paid for his BFF and GF to spend a week in Vegas with him. They cheated and got caught. He checked out and flew home and they had nowhere to stay for the week and no money for even basic food. Their luggage had been packed and left in the baggage hold. They did everything they could to get out of paying for their drinks as they were hella expensive, left no tip, and didn't have a place to sleep or even a change of clothing at 5 am. This couple came into this bar that I worked at and it was business as usual, took their order, brought out drinks and food, including dessert. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary. However, this couple began to argue as they worked through their dessert about the guy didn't bring a battery pack to charge their phones. Homegirl is straight up screaming at this dude. Luckily, it was a really slow night and they were only ones in the restaurant. I offer to charge their phone if they have their cable. I never offer to charge anybody's phones because I don't like dealing with the hassle. But I felt for the guy because I was that guy at one point. This is the point where I feel like I should have thought something was up. The guy hands me what looks like a busted up prepaid phone you get from the supermarket and what looked like a chewed up charger cable. I run to the back and go to charge it only to find out the cable wasn't compatible with the phone. I go back to them and notice they left without paying. I was more impressed than I was upset. I used to bartend at a yard house in the before times. Yard house is a corporate place that's basically a nicer sports bar with a ton of beer on tap with stupid, giant novelty glasses. I had a couple at the bar during happy hour drinking from one of the big glasses and they ordered some onion rings that were half price, he jokingly proposed with an onion ring and she started laughing and jokingly said yes. Then he busted out an actual ring and she wasn't laughing anymore. Bartender for a couple on a Tinder date. They talk for about an hour, he goes to the bathroom but left his jacket on the back of his chair with his wallet and keys in. She stole them, stole his car and went shopping. That poor schmuck refused to call the cops for an hour because it was going so well. I felt bad for him. Not a waiter but I saw a first date next to me. In short, girl states she has an allergy to pineapple, guy says okay and a I don't believe you kinda way. At some point he scraped some pineapple glaze off his dessert and onto her spoon when she popped outside to make a call. She comes back and eats without noticing too much, has a severe reaction. Guy freaks out and tries to run but gets stopped by my girlfriend who is suspicious of him. Manager administers the girl's EpiPen and ambulance and police are called. Absolute worst situation. This happened when I was around 18 or so. I am mostly Native American. This is an important factor to the story, a guy and his date gets sat in my section and he immediately asked to speak to my manager. This was before I even took their drink order so I was perplexed but went and grabbed him right away. The dude then asked my manager for a nice white server instead. Right in front of me. While giving me a rather disgusted scowl. His date was so horrified she stood up and said oh hell no. That racist shit don't work with me honey. You can sit me at the bar sweetheart this date is over. The manager made the man leave and comped his date's food. She left the manager $100 tip for me with a note that said you are beautiful and worthy of respect. Always remember that. Her date was a disaster but she made my night.